Hey YouTube fam, what's up? It's Patrick. I hope you're having an amazing day and welcome to a well-rounded vinyasa yoga practice. For today's session, as usual, all you need is yourself and your practice space. Before we begin the session, if you could subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you enjoy the class, like the video, leave a comment after, let me know how it went for you. Let's start in child's pose. When you're ready, of course, take a moment, let yourself settle in just a little bit. Drop your hips back towards the heels, let the arms stretch out in front of you. Feel length underneath your armpits, feel your heart dipping down, dropping down, moving in. Notice where you feel the stretch. Notice where you feel grounded. And then pull the body forward, come on to hands and knees. Push the palms down into the ground and circle the shoulders over the wrists a few times. Let your fingers grip the ground, root through the thumbs. Feel stability, feel strength. And then as the hands and the wrists, shoulders, spine begin to get involved in the equation, let your body have some freedom in those movements. Return to center. Root your right shin into the floor. Swing your left foot out to the left side. Flip your tailbone up to the sky. And then sway forwards and backwards a little bit here. So stretching through the inner line of your left leg. Trying to keep your hips. The front hip rolling down. The tailbone lifting up. And sit back as deep as you can muster. And then move forward so the left hip is relatively in line with the left foot. Drop your right forearm to the floor. Push your left hand down. Lean right. Lift your left foot off the ground. Holding here. Maybe try to flick your big toe up towards the ceiling a touch more. And then lift your left foot higher. Finding the stability. And then just little pulses here for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold your top position and return to center. Notice the difference between your right and your left side. Take a few rounds of cat cow. Inhale, pull the heart forward. Exhale, round in. 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 Inhale, return to center. Push into your left shin. Swing your right foot out to the right side. As you get here, anchor through the outer edge of the right foot. Sway forwards and backwards a few times here. I'll turn to face y'all a little bit so you can see a different angle on the activity. And again, as you sway here, the key thing is a long spine. Slight upward facing dog in the chest, if you will. So again, nothing dramatic, but feel as though you're not rounding down or looking down at the floor, but instead lifting up, lengthening, finding a space that's yours. And then sit back a little bit further. Feel your femur kind of rolling down a little bit towards the floor. And then drop your left forearm down to the ground. Lean left, push into your right hand, right fingertips. Pluck the right foot up off the ground. Try to kick the right foot forward with your tailbone pulling in the other direction. And then pull, lift the right foot up a little bit higher. Lift up a little bit higher. And then pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Holding, 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 holding. And release. Return to center. Bring your palms to the floor, root down into the hands, tuck toes, lift knees just slightly off the ground. Feel your legs a bit more bounced, a bit more engaged, and then inhale, pull your heart forward, and exhale, round, in, inhale, pull forward, exhale, round in, inhale, pull forward, exhale, round in, inhale, pull forward. 
exhale round it inhale pull forward exhale round in inhale pull forward exhale push your hips up and back downward facing dog I love those more elevated cat cows. They really help me feel alive in the spine, and I hope they do that for you as well. As you make it back into downward facing dog, be organic, animalistic, intuitive. As you lean from side to side and space to space, feeling a good stretch, feeling a good bit of freedom in your body. And you return to your centered space, finding your stability. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. On your exhale, step your right foot to the outside of the right hand. Hop onto the fingertips here. Lift your chest up as you get a little bit longer. And then drop your left heel down immediately. Bring your right hand to the floor. Reach your left arm up to the sky. So you're in a wider variation of side angle pose. Root down into the right foot, root down into the outer edge of the left foot. Bring your left hand behind the skull, inhale. On your exhale, take your left elbow down to the inside of the right elbow, and then lift it back up on your inhale. Exhale, elbow goes down. Inhale, elbow goes up. Feel the movement through the spine here. Really try to stabilize through your right leg, right hip. You can go at your own pace here, a little faster, a little slower than me. Always welcome to find your energetic connection to these positions. The next time your left elbow points to the sky, keep it there. Reach your right hand up and even try to take it back behind you. Breathe across the front of your left fingertips, lifting through the heart, feeling the twist, feeling the length in the spine. On your exhale, left hand returns to the floor. Lean your chest out as you rise onto your fingertips. Lower your left knee to the ground. Push your hips back in space. On your inhale, pull forward. So just adding some motion here, pushing back towards half splits. Inhale, pulling forward towards a low lunge. If you ever need to, the left knee can lift here. It'll obviously make the work a bit more challenging, but you also won't have any pressure on the left knee. You would just move from a low lunge to a modified pyramid pose. The next time you pull the body forward, plant your hands down into the floor. Drive into the hands. Feel engaged in your core. And then step your right foot to the back of the mat finding your downward facing dog. Again, strong arms, strong legs, good lift through the hips. Inhale, stretch your left leg up to the sky. On your exhale, left foot all the way to the outside of your left hand. As you get there, pull the chest forward, get long, and then drop your right heel down to the floor. Push into your left hand, inhale, twist and reach your right arm up to the sky. So you're feeling three points of contact with the floor here, both feet and your left hand. Bring your right hand behind the skull, your right elbow lifts higher. Exhale, right elbow down to the inside of left elbow or four. Inhale, twists you up and the exhale rolls you down. From here, the pace that you move at is completely your own. Again, feel the movement through the spine. Try to keep your left knee and left hip in place. So you're feeling the shifts take part in different areas of your body, essentially. The next time your right elbow points up to the sky, keep it there. Let your right hand reach up towards the space above, behind your right foot with a bit more intention, a bit more specificity. And then exhale, your right hand comes to the floor. Square off the hips, the right knee lowers to the ground, push your chest forward, and then straighten your left leg, push your hips back. Inhale, pull the heart forward, bending the left knee. Exhale, push the hips back. And I'm feeling this gentle, general flossing of the body. And again, it's not about an exact number. It's not about a pace that you're going at. You're just finding a feeling. The inhales take you forward, and the exhales push you back. 
This practice opening up space in the body, helping you feel strong, helping you feel capable, helping you feel aware. The next time you pull forward, linger there for a moment. Really try to lift your belly button up so you're creating more length in the spine. And then from there, push your palms down flat to the floor. Tuck your right toes and step on back to downward facing dog. Now the hips feel new, more connected. Spine feels new, more connected. Inhale, roll forwards into your plank pose. Move through a vinyasa. As you know, in awakening yoga, we take a full push-up, then the knees and forearms drop, the inhales pull through upward facing dog, and the exhales wave you back, downward facing dog. As you make it back into your downward facing dog this time, roll forwards to plank pose again. So feel the journey into plank. Root into the right hand, find side plank. Push into the right thumb, reach your left arm up to the sky. Find the foundation of the place you're exploring. And then lift your left knee up into your chest. Step your left big toe over and behind your right knee. Drop your left heel down. You can push the hips up to the sky here. Or you can step the right foot up closer. Push the hips up to the sky there. Reach your left arm overhead. And just follow the left hand with your eyes. It's kind of reaching it around. Not being tied to one place, not necessarily even seeking the floor. Seeking a feeling, seeking a freedom, seeking an elevation. On your exhale, close off, return to plank pose. Feel strong in the hands, feel stable and connected in the fingertips. And then roll to the outer edge of the left foot, finding your side plank. Reach your right arm up to the sky again, get longer, get taller. Hips stay active and stacked. Push slightly across. Pull your right knee into the chest. Step the right foot over and behind the left knee. Use the right big toe to push. Maybe use the right heel to drop, twisting your chest up to the sky. That could be plenty. If you want more, step your left foot in closer and then bridge your hips up. Find the right hand with your eyes. Spot it and then just move it around and follow it. Really trying to keep your left shoulder on top of your wrist, active in the feet, breathing across the collarbones, breathing with purpose, breathing with intention, and exhale, close everything off. Feel a new sense of freedom in the spine, and then slowly lower your knees to the floor. Tuck the toes, sit back to the heels. Bring your hands behind the skull. Inhale, open your heart up towards the sky. Elbows go wide. Exhale, elbows come together, round in. Inhale, open, heart up to sky. Elbows go wide. Exhale, clear out. Elbows come in towards the belly. A few more rounds like this. Inhale, open, lift up. Exhale, close, round. Inhale, open, lift up. Exhale, close, round. Inhale, open, lift up. Exhale, close, round. Inhale, open, lift up. Keep your heart this lifted. Reach your hands away from the skull and behind you. So your chest is lifted, your arms are long, your heart is elevated. Exhale, pull your hands to heart center. Come off the toes. Tap the feet a few times as you would like to. While that breathing may be a bit foreign to you, uh, a great breathing practice to take during the middle of the day, especially the work day, moves through the spine, create some space there, bring some emphasis to your breathing. Push into the palms, push into the tops of the feet so toes are untucked. Lift the knees off the ground, feel your core engaging here. Pushing into the hands, good stable structure, float your right foot off the ground. Set your right foot back down, float your left foot off the ground. Left foot back down, right foot off the ground. 
Right foot back down, left foot off the ground, left foot back down. Roll over the toes, push your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. On your exhale, right foot to the outside of your right hand. Drop your left heel down, inhale, twist and reach. Your left arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, left hand to the floor, roll onto the left toes. Drop the left knee down, lift your chest up. Push your hips back in space, fold to the inside of the right leg. Bend your right knee, come forward. Lift your left knee off the ground. Inhale, twist and reach your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Drop your left heel down. Inhale, twist and reach your left arm up to the sky. Exhale, left hand down. Left knee drops. Pull your chest forward as you lift. Hips push back in space as you straighten your right leg. Bend the right knee. Left knee lifts. Left hand plants. Inhale, twist and reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, right hand to floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg lifts. Exhale, left foot to the outside of your left hand. Right heel drops. Inhale, twist and reach. Your left arm up. Or right arm up, excuse me. Right hand down. Right knee lowers. Heart elevates as it pushes in front of you. Hips move back in space, straightening through your left leg. Left knee bends. Right hand plants as right knee lifts. Inhale, twist and reach. Your left arm up to the sky, creating length. Exhale, left hand down to the floor. Right heel drops. Inhale, twist and reach your right arm up. Create a bit more movement there. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Right knee lowers as you lift your chest. Exhale, push your hips back in space. Fold to the inside of your left leg. Bend your left knee. Plant your right hand as you lift the right knee. Inhale, twist and reach. Your left arm up to the sky. Left hand returns to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll into your plank pose. And exhale, move through a vinyasa. Always feel free to intensify, modify, take traditional vinyasa or awakening vinyasa. Just notice how your hips feel here. Notice how your spine feels here. Well-rounded practice, focusing on the hips, focusing on the spine. Let's bring some stability into the mix. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, step or spring feet to the outsides of your hands. Inhale, active squat, hands reach forward. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit down. Inhale, hands to the floor, elbows bent. Exhale, vinyasa. Push in the palms, no pause. Energy flowing through your body here, focus in the breath. Step or spring feet to the outsides of your hands. Active squat, home base position. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit down. Inhale, hands to the floor. Elbows bend. Vinyasa. Calm, controlled, connected. And being in your breath, being in your body, and of course, playing with focus, but having fun with the space you find yourself in. Last round here, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, step or spring feet to the outsides of your hands. Active squat is the place we meet. Inhale, rise as you get there. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up, get long and tall. Exhale, sit, your hips down low. Inhale, hands to the floor, elbows bend. Vinyasa. And downward facing dog. As you make it back into your downward facing dog, drop your shins to the floor, untuck the toes, sit back to the heels, and feel the energy and the breath moving through your body. 
hands sit on the lap. Always coming back to grounding, coming back to stability, coming back to structure and form. Your connection to you. When you're ready, let's find dolphin pose or forearm bounce last physically challenging strength-based position of a practice. Set yourself up, push down, lift the hips nice and high, shoulders stack on top of the elbows. Please know dolphin pose can be a perfect place to hold. Physically very tough spot to be. We're only gonna be here for five more breaths. If you wanna play with balance, by all means, play with balance. But again, not a requirement, never a requirement. Just being with your breath, being in your body, being in the present moment. Your body is always physically here. Your mind can be many places and it moves quite quickly. See if you can bring focus to it wherever you choose to go. Let that be your goal. And just like that, that pose is over, that moment is over. We return to sit on the shins. Heart is lifted, breath is big. Body is calm. Your journey to pigeon pose, bringing the right shin forward. Swing it out in front of you. Setting yourself up. Take your time here. You can stay upright for the first few breaths. You can fold down immediately. You can use any props you have to support you. Let your body lean in. Hold the moment just a little bit. Find the stretch sensation. The one you're looking for, the one that feels good. Slowly walk your hands back underneath the shoulders if you folded. Palms push down. Tuck your left toes. Three-legged dog. Your right leg lifts regardless of where you started. Three-legged dog. And then just as we did earlier from side plank, step the right foot over and behind your left knee. Option to step your left foot in closer. Bridge your hips up. Reach your right arm overhead. Follow it with your eyes. Notice what's moving besides your right hand. And then exhale, close it off. Downward facing dog. Your left leg lifts, your left shin comes forward. Pigeon pose, side to set it up. Drop down and into it. Take your time with it. For me personally, I always kinda like to sway around in the beginning. I find that getting active, for me, really helps with releasing and also really helps with the position feeling nice, finding a good stretch sensation, one that I'm really enjoying. And when I'm enjoying the sensation, I'm so much likely to fold further into the position. The depth I go to often has way less to do with any sort of aesthetic and more about a feeling. 
Where does that feel good today? How does that stretch serve my current interest? Because getting to the floor is really not terribly complicated, right? You could be there if you want to be there, especially over time. But finding the stretch that feels best, like for me, it feels so much better up here today than it does down there, especially on this side compared to the other. That allows us to acknowledge that we're multifaceted, that we're asymmetrical, and that one side will always be different than the other for their sides, right and left. You know, you eat with one hand, you brush with one hand, brush your teeth, brush your hair, right? So thinking that your sides won't be a little bit different is, you know, kind of a silly thought. We practice symmetrically of course, but we can understand our unique capacity by acknowledging the differences in our sides, in our structures, in our spaces, in the way we use and maneuver our body. It's not necessarily an aim to be balanced, for balance is fleeting regardless. It's an aim to be in tune, to be in touch, to be connected. Walk your hands back underneath the shoulders, palms push down. Left leg swings up to the sky. Step the left foot over and behind the right foot. And again, you can push into the left foot, shorten the stance, and then drive your hips up, stacking the shoulder, reaching your left arm overhead, and then following the left hand with your eyes. Because I'm noticing where it goes. And close everything off. Downward facing dog. As you make it back into dog, push into palms. Your journey onto your back. Do your thing. As you make it there, <laughs> set your feet as you would for bridge pose. Tips of fingertips touch backs of Achilles tendon, and then drive your heels down. Pull your front ribs down, bridge your hips up, stay engaged. And release. As your hips land, bring one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Knees play open, supta baddha konasana. Let your eyes close. Feel your breath entering and exiting your physical system. Take the time here to melt down. Take the time here to nourish yourself, to nourish your being. By owning the moment, by honoring yourself, giving yourself the gift of time, the gift of practice, the gift of self-discovery, self-awareness, you're elevating your consciousness, you're learning to tune your own frequency, to come into a state of self-awareness to find opportunities to create balance and to move forward with positivity, with kindness, and with empathy. As always, feel free to stay in this space for as long as you'd like. A pleasure to practice with each and every one of you on the channel as always. Please leave a comment below. Let me know how this session was for you. Many new classes coming your way very soon. 
I look forward to practicing with you again in those sessions, or of course, in the library of any of the other sessions on the channel. As always, have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.